Hey guys, today I'll be doing a review on a recent game from NIS or Nippon Ichi Software called The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. It was released in Japan in May last year and was released recently outside of Japan this month for both Nintendo Switch and PS4 platforms. This game is a 2D side-scroller puzzle adventure game focusing on storytelling. You play as a wolf that can transform to a human princess, guiding a blind prince in a forest. The forest is filled with puzzles that you have to solve, ranging from environmental puzzles to riddles. The game is set up like a storybook, where you have a Japanese narrator telling us a story. Just like when you were a little kid and your mom tells you a bedtime story. The story takes inspiration from a specific children's storybook. Now I won't tell you which one because to some people it may be a spoiler. Everything from art style to UI design is made like a book. For example, paper textures in the UI and the rough charcoal-like art style. The art in particular is very dark, mysterious, and saturated. This really adds the eerie atmosphere of the game. It takes around 5-6 to six hours to complete, so it doesn't take too long to finish. The whole concept of the game is guiding the blind prince using the princess's ability to switch between wolf form and human form to traverse through the level and solve puzzles. For example, you have to be in human form to guide the prince by holding his hand or to access narrow areas. In wolf form, you can jump higher areas and protect the prince from any dangers from the forest. There are more interesting mechanics as you progress in the story like the ability to tell the prince what to do. The story is simple, yet very engaging. The way they tell the story makes you want to know what happens next. Although at the start, the introduction has a lengthy scene which you can't skip. Not a problem for first timers, but can be annoying when playing it again. The narrator of the story is only in Japanese, which may turn off a few players, but hey, if you are watching this, you are interested in this kind of game. In terms of puzzles, they are easy to solve. There are a few minor problems that I encountered where sometimes the prince lets go of her hands when doing certain actions. The game's gravity and the way the level is designed is sometimes unforgiving. Sometimes if you screw up the order of solving the puzzle, you become stuck and the game won't notify you. The only way to solve this is to either die or retry from the latest checkpoint. The problem here is that you don't know if you did something wrong until you realize that you're stuck in game. The game encourages you to find collectibles in a form of flowers and leaves which gives you rewards such as concept art, character designs, and a bit of lore. This increases the replayability of the game by 1 to 2 hours. Personally, I love the animations and art style, especially the way they fall is pretty cute and the way she whispers to his ears to tell him what to do. Small things like this makes me want to continue playing the game. The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince is a pretty simple game with a simple story and easy to learn mechanics. Even though the puzzle might be too simple for challenge hungry players, once you are captivated by the storytelling, this won't be a problem. This is something you want to see through the very end. The art style fits in the whole theme of the game and the story. This game is pretty good, but if you compare to games such as Limbo or Ori in the Blind Forest, it's not on par, but it has its own unique charms, which makes the story worth experiencing. So Rollover will give this 8 rover points. That's a pretty damn good score. And that's my review for this simple and awesome game. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this game, and I'll see you in the next video. Rover out.